Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. A series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Okay, so in the last episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, there was a question of can you kill the delinquents using the demon hands, and I couldn't summon them because of a bug, but in the March 5th, 2016 build, you can now summon the hands once again, so we can officially debunk it. But apparently, me saying that the delinquents are currently invincible doesn't resonate with people. I guess they don't know what that means, so I guess I'm gonna have to officially debunk it. It's no problem for me because I actually like doing the demon hand thing. I like summoning them them so let's get all these hoes inside of the circle and chop that ass up all right inside this circle we got all the occult club members now we can saw them up and make occult member stew there we go got it revenge at last rise demon jazz hands rise for me once more yes <laughs> God, when they rise up, it's just so sick. All right, so now we can debunk it once and for all. The words currently invincible doesn't mean anything to anybody. You actually have to debunk this yourself. So let's open the door and try to kill these delinquent whores. Let's see. What? What? Boom, what? Nothing. What? they have their bats ready. They are just looking at me like I'm crazy uh -huh. as fuck. I guess uh -huh. delinquents can see through my demonic ways. And no, you cannot Slides. kill them. Currently invincible. You. So that is debunked. But while I have the demon jazz hands out, we might as well kill some of these girls in the cooking club. Just because I'm Slides. an evil ass Slides. bitch. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there you go. You cannot kill the delinquents using the demon hands. They are invincible, meaning nothing Looking can kill them. Lights. On to the next one. Yandere Dev said that if your reputation is low, the delinquents will think you're one of them. Will they say something different? Well, there's two ways to change your reputation. One is to open the debug menu and press R to change your reputation from low to high. The other way is to grab a big weapon like a katana for your mama and go into a group of people that are by the fountain area. In this case, I'm gonna go for the girls right here and they're just gonna notice you and as you can see my reputation is getting low as fuck because apparently a sexy ass girl carrying a katana lowers your reputation for some reason so let's just fast forward time and you guys can see the reputation dropping and i'm just gonna do this until it's like negative a thousand i mean it doesn't really matter how low my reputation is because it's already as low as it can go but i'm just gonna keep doing this as so i mean they all keep freaking the fuck out saying you're still walking around like that and boom there negative a thousand so now that it's at negative a thousand, we can go to the delinquents. I doubt that they're gonna say anything at all. Why would they let you join their club or what? Are they gonna give you like a bat or like a stick to hit people what? with now that you have something? Oh wait, it. never mind. I have a weapon. Hold on. My reputation's low. Are you gonna say anything? Scram, loser. Oh my god, scram, loser! What about you? Say something. My reputation is low! Come Too on! Close. Really? Scram! Okay, so they're not saying Back anything. Off. They're still pushing me like I'm a little baby bag Rich. bitch. So if your reputation is low, these hoes and those hoes over there won't accept you into their group or they won't say any new lines of dialogue. So that is officially debunked. On to the next one. Kill someone in front of a delinquent. Teleport to the classroom. Will the delinquents follow you there? If they do, will they spin around like the teachers? Hmm, let's see. Let's get green-haired girl. Can you fat on me, please? I can't lead the way. We got our trusty box cutter in our inventory, like so. And we have to kill someone in front of the delinquents, but they're not going to be here yet because they're on a timer. I don't get why they're on a timer. I was like, all right, man, we got to meet up at the trash can and we got to look badass in about nine minutes and ten seconds. So everybody get ready. I don't get that. Why, did, why are they on a timer? It would be cool if you could actually see them walking towards the incinerator. But no, they just pop out of thin air like the devil just farted and then they shat out these fucks. So there you go. They're over there. Let's fight. kill this bitch. Yes, come on. Did you see that? Are you freaking kidding me? You guys are right here. You didn't see me kill this bitch? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. How the fuck did that happen? He saw me kill her, but as soon as I held her hand, he was like, all right, crowbar time, and he smacked me on the head. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay, this time I'm going to stand right here so I can clearly cut this bitch up in front of these girls. And show time. All right, teleport. Come on. Are you freaking kidding me again? Do I have to hold your hand? What do I have to do? Pick it up. Whoa, God damn it! Oh my God! 
Really? I knew she smacked you me and then ran into the guts. school like she went through the walls. This is harder than I thought because I cut them up and then they're not following me until I start grabbing the hand. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand a little bit further away as I'm killing them. Well, I didn't mean to go here. Yeah, I'm going to stand a little bit further away as I'm killing them. And then when the delinquent sees me, teleport right away to the classroom. And then I'm going to wait for them to see if they run inside the classroom. So let's just get the evil girl, Yui. Can you follow me, please? And then let's make our way over to the delinquents. Okay, right here should be perfect. And they should be coming any second now. So it's almost showtime, Yui. Showtime, oh, baby. Bam! Don't you know I eat there we go. Like you so let's hold the hands. Oh going shit! Down God damn, fight. they run fast as fuck! You gotta be kidding me! I knew you didn't. They're like the teachers guts. in Terminator form, but times 10,000. They run so fast. My god, this is gonna be tricky, but we're gonna get this to work. I promise you guys. All right, I have an idea. This time I'm gonna stand this far away. If they get me this time, that is gonna be some fuck. So let's chop this bitch up, and then let's grab the hand like so, and we're just gonna inch closer. Once I see them start running towards me, it's teleporting time. Holy fuck, this is scary. Okay, okay, okay. Huh? Okay, there you go. Oh, oh god, hell, there. you're coming Ooh. with me. Okay, so let's see if this bitch is gonna come towards I us. Let me teleport back up to the desk. Guts. There we go. Surprise, oh my god! Holy shit, she went through the wall. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna go through the wall. You gotta be fucking me. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, to answer your question, yes, the delinquents follow you inside the school. I actually don't think they run into the school. I think they teleport up to the classroom that you're in, and then they smack you with the bat. So, no, they don't spin around like idiots. They do go in there, and they smack the fuck out of you. So, hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Myth. Throw the body off the roof into the trash can. You will be able to instantly sneak it past the delinquents and into the incinerator. All right, so first things first, we are going to have to scoot the trash can over and open the lid. So when we throw the body off the roof, it'll land directly inside the trash can, past the delinquents, and then we can hopefully take out the body and put it in the incinerator. So let's open this bad boy up and then scoot it over. There should be like a sign telling you that you got it. Yes, there you go. So stop that and teleport to the roof. Get Midori to go over to the railing like so. There you go. And let's fast forward time so she hurries her ass up. There she is. Okay, let's follow her. Bye Midori. Bye Midori. <laughs> All right. There you go. She is now in the trash can. So let's go over and get her, and hopefully we can throw her in the incinerator. Hi, delinquents. Just going over to the incinerator. All right. Can we pick the body up? No? Oh, my God. Look at those eyes. That is the fuckiest eyes I've ever seen. Did she make that face when she fell in the trash can? You gotta be shitting me. So we can only open and close the trash can. We can't actually take the body out. Oh, my God. Really? Uh, yeah, we can't get to the bottom of that trash can and pick up Midori from here. Can only open and close the trash can. That sucks. Wait, can I throw her off the railing without throwing her into the trash can and then pick her body up? Let me see if I can do that. All right, so let's kill Miss Gurina and pick up the body because she's a thotty acting naughty. And then, nope. Oh my god, what the hell is up with her knees? What the fuck is that? Ew, it's like a thumb coming out of her kneecap. That's disgusting. But the railing is too high to throw them over. You can only throw them off shorter railings. So let's go over to a short railing. Is this one a short railing? No, it is still high. I don't know why, like the structure of the school, why this is the only short railing. But let's throw her over like so. And let's see what we can do. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can't sneak it past the delinquents. But let's try and see what happens. There's going to be no way I'm sneaking this past the delinquents. So that one is officially debunked. You cannot throw them off that railing right there into the trash can. Pick their body up and put them in the incinerator. I'm just going to try to do this real huh? quick. You're going to put huh? this in there. Go ah! They're way too fast now. They're like super speed. But yeah, that one's officially debunked. On to the next one. Can you burn the trash bag? 
I'm pretty sure you can throw the trash bag in there. I've never actually tried to activate the furnace while you do it. There is supposedly something that's going to come in future builds, which is called cleanup time, where at the times of 3.30 to 4 p.m., students around the school will be cleaning things up, you know, throwing things away into the incinerator, so you can put body parts inside of a trash bag, leave it somewhere around the school, and a teacher or students will pick it up and put it in the incinerator for you, so it's like they're the ones doing all the work. So we dump that and activate it. Yes, you can burn a trash bag. But the concept of being able to put body parts inside of a trash bag and students getting that trash bag and throwing body parts away for you can also save time when you're, you know, on like a time constraint, like if police are coming or if you just have a lot of things to clean up and you're just trying to throw things away. I think you can leave things like outside of classrooms like here or here I'm not entirely sure but yes you can burn the trash bag that is gonna be a very useful feature in future builds I can't wait for that on to the next one can you get a delinquent and a teacher to chase you at the same time well this one's gonna be a little bit tricky because from what we just saw earlier the delinquents they just like teleport through the school and they get you from there but maybe we can do it I don't know let's just get her to follow us real quick and let's head over to the incinerator and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to stand far away hold the body in my hand so we can trigger them to start chasing us teleport to the classroom with the body in our hand and then start running around and hopefully we can get them on the screen at the same time chasing me and we'll see how long we can last from there because both of them are freaking terminators chase you fast as fuck so let's get the delinquents over here it's showtime baby let's pick the body up this time though because you can run a little bit faster with the body, you know, in your hands as opposed to just dragging it. Huh, huh? So there we go, there we go. Alright, teleport. Down that easy. And the teacher oh, sees me. No see me. Alright, there we go. No, teleport to the roof. Be. And let's wait for them to come to us. Because I want to make sure that, you know, we can get- Oh my god! The delinquent came to the floor! <laughs> Holy fuck, that's scary! Alright, we gotta find a way to get out of here. Come on! Shit, make sure the delinquent isn't chasing us. Alright, I don't know where the delinquent is. Come on, open the door. Surprise, Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, teleport! Holy fuck, that's scary! Oh, my God! Okay. Oh, my God, that scared the shit out of me. All right, where is the delinquent? And where's the teacher at? Oh, my God, coming through the floor! Let's go. We are gonna go outside. Because I do not fuck with that. That is scary as shit! All right, there we go. We're here. Where is the delinquent? Where is the teacher? Oh, my God, there they are! Yes! They're chasing me, but the teacher's going somewhere else. Where the fuck is she going? Oh, she's running in circles. All right, let's see if we can make it to the teacher and the delinquent at the same time. Come on, go, 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 fuck! All right, but that answers the question. Yes, a teacher and a delinquent can chase you at the same time. The delinquent can just go through walls, which is crazy, and the teacher just chases you the normal way but they're both really fast they're inescapable if you don't teleport but yes they can chase you at the same time on to the last myth of today's episode myth if you kidnap oka or kill oka and clean up the evidence she will not be considered dead she will be considered missing okay let's try that we are gonna get oka to follow us really quick excuse me can you follow me please and she said yes i think yes she did okay she's following me i thought she was gonna go to her locker but then she started following me Right? Yes. All right, let's get the syringe and the trank from our big booty beautiful nurse. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm doing fine today. Thank you for asking. All right, let's head on over to the trank room. Close the door and well, boom! Okay, so if we kidnap her, it won't say that she's dead like it did in previous builds. It will say that she is missing. So let's fast forward to the end of the day and let's see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. Like all other students, Yandere-chan is instructed to leave school. Senpai leaves school too. Yandere-chan leaves school and watches Senpai walk home. Once he is safely home, Yandere-chan returns to her own home. The leader of the occult club has gone missing. The occult club cannot operate without its leader. The club disbands. She gets Oka from the school and takes her home, yada yada yada. Let's go back to school and try killing Oka this time and cleaning up the evidence and see if she's still missing or it says that she's dead. Okay, to kill Oka, I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I got her to follow us and we're just gonna kill her right here where the delinquents can't see, like so. Gotcha, bitch! And the delinquent should be popping up any second, but it doesn't matter. Let's drag this body. Dump that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot, you do it the new way. You put it in there, tuck her into bed, read her a bedtime story, and she's there. Let's throw the scissors in there. And we also need to get a mop, because we need a mop up all this blood. Okay, here we go, let's clean all of this up. This should be the only blood, there's actually not that much blood. I guess the cult leaders don't have that much blood these days. But well, we have it all cleaned up, so let's just leave it here. And now we just need to change our clothes, activate what? the incinerator, and then we can go home. Okay, we have just cleaned up ourselves and changed our clothes. Let's dump this. We don't have anything else that we need to do, so let's activate this bad boy. And then just to be sure of ourselves, what? let's take this mop. And then we're going to dump it inside of this water because you just want to be sure. You want to make sure there's no evidence whatsoever. Clean up the blood that's off this mop. So let's dip it low. Change the time. And let's go home and see what happens. The leader of the occult club has gone missing. The occult club cannot operate without its leader. The club disbands. Yes. So see, the teacher walks around the school. There's no evidence. Nobody's dead like it said before. Now they're just missing if you kidnap them or kill them. So that's a pretty cool feature because they don't want to consider somebody dead when they're just missing. I remember when I kidnapped Oka before, it said that she was dead. And I was like, what the? She's in my basement. She's not dead yet. Good thing that it's been fixed now. So yes, they are considered missing if you kidnap them or kill them with all the evidence cleaned up. So that is true. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more questions, challenges, or myths that you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!